my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got another manicure to share and this one is featuring the Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics Nail Polish called Black Dahlia. I've started this manicure off with some Dainty Digits Glitter Be Gone. It's a peel off base coat and I'm being sure to cap that in. And next here we go with the Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics Black Dahlia. It's a very beautiful polish. It's a nice cream. It's kind of on the verge of red and black. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous color. Being very careful to get all the way to the edge without having to do too much cleanup. <laughs> Capping that in. And that is the first coat. We're going to go in for a second coat. going to smooth it all out and deepen the color, even it all the way out. Capping that end again. And I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup with the Zoya Remover Plus. Got some in my dampen dish and my little cleanup brush. I'm just going to do a little bit of cleanup, not, not going to go too crazy. I don't have too much to do, but stuff just bothers me. I have to get it. <laughs> it's mostly just those, those three fingers that I think I got stuck in everywhere. I'm going to top this off with some posh top coat so that I can get it to dry down pretty quick. Oops, I had something on my brush. I'm going to get it to dry down pretty quick so that I can do some stamping. Capping that in. And putting this top coat, coat on it just makes it look plump. Makes it look just really juicy looking. There we go. <clears throat> Alright, now that we're all dry, I'm going to go in with this Pure Ice Silver Mercedes and this Bundle Monster Plate 323. I'm going to use the Bob Wire image, my Faber Nail Scraper card, and my Bundle Monster Monocle Stamper. And I'm just going to stamp this across all of my nails. And clean off the plate in between with some acetone and a cotton ball. I'm sorry that's blurring out. Hopefully, it'll start acting right. There we go. I've um, done a little bit of cleanup with some tape, and now I'm going to go in using that same plate, and I'm going to isolate this one big rose, and I'm using some red polish. I'll show you the name here in just a minute. And I'm just going to use this little red rose on my accent finger. And this is one I'm building up. I'm doing layers of stamping with it. Try to give it a little bit of a dimension. And that was <laughs> Radioactive. And the next one is called Rapid Red. And both of these are Sally Hansen Insta Dry Polishes. That one didn't pick 
up so well. We're going to go after it again. There we go. Much better. We're going to try to line this up, but not right directly on top of it, just kind of overlapping it a little bit. And now I'm going to go in with some of this Eliana's Collection Bubble Gum. This beautiful little pink with a little tiny detail brush that I've trimmed down. And I'm just going to go in and make some little C shapes to kind of give that flower, that rose, a little bit more definition. And not all of them are going to be perfect C's because, you know, it just, it just kind of went with the shape of the flower and just tried to dot it in. There we go. I'm going to do a little bit more cleanup. There's my tape. And a little bit more cleanup with my tape. <laughs> and we're going to top this off with some posh top coat. I want it to dry down. Capping that in. We got our orange wood stick for a quick cleanup around the edges so I don't end up with a goopy mess. liking it so far. I get this extra top coat off of the way, out of my way, off of my nail. And there we go, and there is the shiny version. And here is my top coat with the shine and now we're going to mattify it because this is one I think looks good matte and today I've got the matte top coat from Revlon and the matte top coat from China Glaze and I'm just going to kind of put one kind on two fingers and the other kind on the other two fingers these are the only two matte top coats I think I have right now I think I've gotten rid of most of the other ones that I tried and I'm going to see if there's any real difference between the two. Or even, not even just the dry time, but, you know, if there is any visual difference. Probably not, but I figured it'd be a good time to test it. <clears throat> and I have to say, I have to say, I've used the Revlon more just because it's the one that's always handy. I don't know that it's my favorite matte top coat, but it's the one that's gotten the most use because it's in with my other top coats sitting on my desk. There we go. You can see those first two are starting to mattify. And there they all are mattified. And I can't really tell the difference between the two different top coats. Um, I don't really have a preference. So here's my swatch photo of the mattified version. <clears throat> Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this one. Thanks for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. <laughs>